Pat TV. This is your new host, oh, Avinash Panda, first time hosting this show. Uh, and this is my co-host, Michael Stern. Hello. Um, we are talking today about Google Tag Manager. So, what is this Google Tag Manager? So, uh, in online marketing, search marketing, um, and even SEO, we have a lot of uh, there needs to be a lot of different JavaScript snippets, um, tracking codes, whether it's Google Analytics put on sites, or Chartbeat tracking code put on sites, or um, one of the, the advertising platform we use, uh, Marine Software, um, there's a lot of tracking codes that need to be put on our client sites. So these are tracking codes just for advertising or, or for tracking purposes too? So uh, they're just data collection tags in general. Right. So whether it's collecting data on the visitor's behavior or traffic mm -hmm. patterns with Google mm -hmm. Analytics or um, what ad they clicked on mm -hmm. for Marin to get into the site or uh, what pages they're viewing right now with Chartbeat. Mm -hmm. um, there needs to be, all of these separate companies want to track user behavior yeah. separately. Yeah. From an implementation standpoint, it becomes very tedious. Kind of tedious, <laughs> yeah. To put on different annoying. codes. And yeah, to put on different codes on different pages all yeah. around the website. Sometimes on the same page, and you know, yeah. Yeah, and sometimes, okay, this goes only on the thank you page after the purchase, whether it's uh, you know Google Analytics, Google e-commerce, e yeah. that goes just on the confirmation page and then Marin has their e-commerce and just goes on the confirmation page. So, Google recognizes this. There's other companies called um, Tagman and BrightTag that do the same things and what they do is they say, okay, client, or tell your client as an agency, just put this one tag on your site, on every page of the site. Mm -hmm. And what this one tag does is it, it's a, a, just a JavaScript snippet, which is really just a container for whatever you want to put in there as an agency. So, <laughs> so as an agency, um, you want to have the ability to put in uh, Google Analytics when necessary, or put in Chartbeat, or remove Chartbeat to just do um, some like So you just, you just put in one, one piece of code which collects all this data, and do you have an interface where you can add all of these different codes? Right. So once you have the client uh, in, put this onto their website, mm -hmm. it's all hands off from there. Right. You can now remotely go into their site, add Google Analytics, or add the what was the chart read? No, the uh, the heat map thing. Oh, crazy egg. Yeah. So Avinash recently wanted to use crazy egg for one of our clients. Yeah. Um, so instead of asking the client, hey, can you put this code on 10 million pages of your site? Just put this, you know, this one Google Tag Manager, which we already have on there. We can just inject the crazy egg for a couple weeks, use that data, and then remove it. Yeah. So it's so really just it's yeah. an empty container that allows you to put whatever JavaScript code that you need to put onto the site or uh, analytics. So it makes the developer's life much easier for the person maintaining the website. It does, because you don't have to go back to, as an agency, you don't have to keep going back to their developers. Yeah. You just put it in one place and then manage it remotely. It's yeah. like the next best thing, best thing to having FTP access to the website. Yeah, so, and that's free, right? Google yeah, Google Tag Manager is free. free. And um, there are some competitor products that aren't free, but maybe they have better features, but we're currently exploring the Google Tag Manager. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for sharing that. All right, we'll meet in the next episode. Where are we watching it? Whenever you're watching it. Good morning, good evening, good night. Thank you.